Now in this next section, I'm going to give you some tips that you can use as you create your brochure and your presentation. The first thing I want to talk about is the text that you use. Make sure you keep your wording clear and simple. You want to use active and visual language and cut unnecessary words. A good rule of thumb, if, as you're looking at what you may have taken from the internet, is to cut paragraphs down to sentences and then um, sentences down to phrases and phrases into keywords. So you're not taking all of that text from the internet. You're keeping it pretty simple. Limit, um, when you're working on your presentation, limit the number of words and lines per slide. Try thinking about the rule of five. Five words per line, five lines per slide. If too much text appears on one slide, um, it becomes hard to read, so make sure you shorten that down. Uh, in terms of font size, for your presentation, your titles should be at least 36 to 40, and the body should be not more than 24. Um, on your brochure, you want to make sure that your um, text size fits the lines that you're using. Use only one or two font styles uh, per slide or per presentation. You don't want too many different fonts. You might use one for the title and another for the text. Choose uh, ones that contrast each other but also are easy to read. Make sure that you embed the fonts in your presentation um, so you're using the same ones throughout the whole presentation. You're not changing that. Use colors sparingly two to three at most in your whole presentation and in your whole brochure. You don't want a whole bunch of different colored fonts. And don't use red. Red is sort of a, um, a emotional color and it's also hard to read, especially in a presentation. Use bold or italics. Don't underline. It clutters up your presentation. When you're making a bulleted list, don't center it and make sure you run spell check before you're finished. Now let's talk about the background. In general, you want to make sure you keep the background consistent. You don't want a different background for every page of your brochure or for every slide that you create. Simple and light textures work best. Complicated textures make it hard to read. If you're planning to use a lot of pictures in your brochure or on your slides, use a white background. It's really the easiest to see all of your information on. Uh, minimize bells and whistles, especially in your PowerPoint. You don't want sound effects, flying things. It just makes it too complicated. Um, again, remember not to use red. We talked about that before. Um, because it can be very overwhelming and very difficult to read. The last thing I want to talk to you about are the clips or the pictures that you include in your presentation and in your brochure. Um, of course, if you're doing a presentation, you want to use animations very subtly. Too much flash and motion can be distracting and even annoying to your viewers. Don't rely uh, too heavily on images that you've already found on your computer. Make sure um, you're using ones that are actually really relevant to your topic. With the with Google Images, there are a ton of things out there. There should be no reason um, to rely on that. Make sure you use pretty small files, especially in your presentation, so they don't slow down your computer. Um, and keep all your charts and graphs and diagrams as simple as possible. Well, that's about it for the helpful tips. Now it's time to get to work on your brochure and your presentation. If you need help as you're working, either technical or with design, be sure to work with your group and ask your teacher. Good luck!